gardens are sort of unnatural spaces as much as anything else. They are a little bit like art galleries, but they have the benefit, I think, of time, that it's constantly changing. Uh, I like this idea that the garden doesn't care. It doesn't care about you, it doesn't care about whoever's paying the bills, it doesn't care about the gardeners, it just keeps on growing. If you left, it would be a completely different garden tomorrow when you came back if you didn't do anything. And it's constantly changing. What I wanted to do was to bring a group of artists who are working with sort of traditional um, shapes and forms and traditions and sort of putting them into that space to see how they would sort of bounce off it. Because in a way, the garden itself is this gigantic sculpture and they're just sort of slotting into it. So it's to bring the artists in there who would work with the garden, not against the garden. So hopefully they sort of reflect the garden in a different way. I think the interesting thing with a garden is sort of moving through space. So the show itself is called Objects in Space and it comes from a comment by Russell Page, the famous English garden designer, talking about like how Japanese gardens are this sort of uh, object lesson in three-dimensionality in a garden space. So as you walk through the garden, it almost feels as if the garden itself is a sculpture. And time is that added element that a garden has in its favour as opposed to, say, a sculpture which is sort of quite static. And this is a work by Christopher Hodges called Garden, which is here. And I think the beauty of having this work here and having this sort of negative space is it's actually framing the landscape. So you actually look at the landscape of the garden through the aperture of the sort of flower form that's in here which gives you these really great views and I think as you move around the garden sort of expanding and contracting all the time so you see one one sculpture here and then you look across to another but then you sort of notice the curves of the pruning that the gardeners have done here such an amazing job and you can almost sort of capture the landscape within this work.